the service dog. Hey! Hey! Stop it! You're watching a service dog being attacked by another dog, and the woman you hear screaming is Megan. She is in a wheelchair, and the retriever named Buddy is her service dog. Now, more than a year after this attack, she says she will not get justice. This Northport family says since the attack, Buddy hasn't been the same. Tonight, NBC2 Sarah Metz is talking with the family, still reliving that traumatic moment. Hey! Stop it! It's a video <laughs> that's hard to forget. Oh my God! We first showed you this last year, just one day after Buddy the service animal was attacked by another dog in Northport. <laughs> Buddy is okay, physically at least. He can't even really enjoy a walk down our street much anymore. Megan says he now has severe anxiety and can no longer provide her service like he once did. Or if there's any dogs, then he's nervous. He has severe panic attacks that consist of jumping up, whining, shaking. She's not the same either. My health, because I don't have my service dog. It's gone downhill as well. Megan says they've had to fight this legal battle every day for the last year. It was upheld civilly. She says the other dog's owner in this video had to pay a fine for violating Florida's leash law, but criminally. Now the criminal justice system has failed me, and because I, you know, decided to act on my federal rights, they dropped the case. The Americans with Disabilities Act says a service animal doesn't have to be labeled. If you follow your federal right to not vest your dog, then you don't get justice. That's a scary, scary precedent for future handlers because not all of them put, okay. choose to put a vest on their dog for whatever reason. She's working with advocacy groups to continue the fight, but now she doesn't know where to turn next. It's hard to know for sure what to do. I'm but I do intend to make a change. We're local today in Northport, Sarah Metz, NBC2.